Hi and welcome to Create Today. Today we are using squares. Okay, so we will do a cut map and play with our square pieces making quilt-like patterns. So here's one example with the tea party paper. Isn't that cute? So it just makes interesting backgrounds. It's just changing up your background a little bit. So for this particular card, we are going to work on a five and a half inch square. So let me show you one way to cut these papers. So the first thing I want to do is cut a strip at one and three eighths. And then I'll cut a strip at two and three quarters. And then I've got my last piece left here. And remember, this is a five and a half inch square, so that's these measurements are appropriate to that square size. So here I'm just cutting these up, and then I'll cut these into fours. And notice too, I'm using two, I'm cutting two pieces of design paper at once. That gives me more options when I'm uh, putting my layout together. Okay, how fun is that? Okay, and then once I have those pieces cut, then you just play. It's like a puzzle. Great for using some of the your papers that uh, maybe you're not sure what to do with them or you know they've got a pattern on them that you can't quite find a, the perfect project for, just cut it up into squares and you've got a background with a wow factor. It looks super complicated, but it's just cutting squares down into smaller squares. Then I just play with the pattern here until I get something I like. And notice on this pattern, there was some directional pieces. So I just turned some of those different directions so that things would not be too uniform. It's whatever works for you. And then I've got these other pieces left to make another card with. And then all you do is slide your pieces off. Now here I'm using a glue stick. I'm using a glue stick because for the card that we're going to make today, we're using the Splendid Day metallic papers. And if you put your glue right on the back of those papers, it will show through a little bit. So if you just put your glue stick onto a separate panel like I'm doing here I'm gluing the panel not the design papers you won't have any marks on your splendid day papers and so because I was using the glue I just had that out for this as well and look how fast and easy this is to put together now I've got a cute card that I made with this background piece and I'll put that over on my Instagram It's really a super cute card that this ended up being. Okay, and voila, background. I mean, how fabulous is that? Then you just take a card base. Remember, this is five and a half square, so you can just cut an eight and a half by 11 down to five and a half by 11, score it in half, or you can get pick up pre made card bases. All right, this is the one we're going to do today. It's Splendid Day. Now we're using this greenery from the coordinating stamp set, but if you have these artistic dies, these would be really cute with this too. And I just cut them out from white cardstock and I did put some sticky back paper so they would be easier to lay down. I've got these pieces already cut, so I'm just going to pull the coordinating pieces <clears throat> and attach them to my card base. Now these were cut in the same way that the previous that I previously showed. 
Okay, I'm just pulling some pieces. There we go. Okay, and I'll get these glued down. And like I said, it's important with this splendid day paper that you glue on not that you do not add the glue to the back of the of these papers. Attach your glue to a card panel and then attach the papers to that card panel. That will keep things from that will keep the glue and so forth from showing through. And then um, for this square where I've got the three pieces, in the other quadrant where I, I did the same three pieces, I did turn those just to add interest. You could do them in the same fashion or turn them however it works. Now, the good thing about this paper, it's not the, none of the patterns are directional. So they're fairly easy to place down. If your pattern has direction, you have to pay a little more attention to that. Now I'm only doing, now I'm leaving two of the quadrants with the single uh, piece of design paper, but you could even do all four of these cut down. There's a lot of room to play with this pattern. Okay, um, I'm just going to take some of the vellum. So I've just got a two and a half inch circle cut from the paper board that comes in our DSP. And then to get my torn edge circle here, I just place that paperboard. I hold it secure with my left thumb and tear with my right. Okay, and then you have a perfectly distressed or distressed edge, torn edge, I should say, torn edge vellum. Okay, I'm just going to add a little glue down here to the bottom. So here I'm adding my focal point. So my my squares are my background. Okay, so I still need to add a focal point layer or a top layer to that background. So that's what I'm doing here. So I'm starting with this vellum. And then I've got this greenery piece cut from the stamp set that coordinates with this metallic paper. So I'm just pulling that up. And remember, you use any greenery that you have here. Okay, and because I've got sticky back on it, it will help to hold that vellum down. And I'll show you how we go through and uh, fix the uh, pieces of vellum that are still trying to pop up. Okay, oh, remember this beautiful mesh metallic ribbon? Oh, who could forget this? But I figured this was the perfect card to break this out on. So I just I just cut a little piece and then cut them in half the long way just to give a little bit of layering. You could just put the ribbon, any ribbon down just in one piece. So I've got a little sentiment, you know, just grab any thoughtful sentiment that you have for this card. And then I just trimmed it down and then I'm just going to rough up the edges a little bit here. My scissors are closed and I'm just roughing the edges because I've just cut this from paper, no dies or anything like that. I just, I just stamped it and cut it out. So this gives a little bit of an edge there for me. Oh, I'm coming together. Okay, and then this little flower just came from the back of the Awash with Beauty paper that we're using on the Bluebird project. There's another video with the little Bluebird I made. It's really cute. And then, so I just cut a flower out of there. Fussy cutting. same thing just roughing up the edge just just a smidge
Okay, now when adding the glue, now remember you need to attach this glue so that that sentiment sticks through the mesh ribbon and to the metallic paper. So I got a fair amount of glue going on here and this is going to move around. So you got to hold it down for a minute. You may need to set your phone or something on top of the sentiment just to give that glue a hot second to attach to your card. Okay, and then while I'm doing that, I can just put the dimensionals onto the back of my flower. And that's getting pretty stuck there. Again, I'm on metallic paper, so I am going ahead. I'm being generous with the glue. Oh, look at that. It's coming together. Okay. All right. We definitely need some bling bling. So we've got metallic papers, metallic ribbon, and now we have our rhinestones here to add another level of shimmer. So, very, very sophisticated. All right, so I just add my gems. And I think I still need to put this on a card base. Oh, okay, so here I'm gonna show you. Just put a little dot of glue on a glue scrap, and then I just kind of reach underneath the vellum and attach anything else down that needs to be attached. That sentiment you see is still moving around a little bit, but it'll be secure. As soon as it grabs it, it'll be good to go. Okay. There we go. Sophisticated squares. See you next time.